Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I am at my studio. This is a photo and video studio. I am not using a microphone. This is a sound isolated room. Sound might not be perfect. I just want to make a quick video uh, because I want to show you whether you can use any kind of paper or a wall and what's the difference between different papers in the wall and the gain level you can achieve. First of all, this is a small projector, and right now we are uh, playing Full HD video. Let me just close the projector and tell you a little bit about the space and setup here. This is a matte white wall, studio wall, and this is glossy white paper, and this is a matte, just like a little cold white, kind of, paper applied on an IKEA table. This, These two sort of like a film style. You can stick them on and apply to a surface and create a new surface. So these are like films, just papers, but also films. Let me just show you. I can roll them out and also put them back in, but you need to be ready to get rid of the wrinkles and the bubbles when you want to apply any surface. And these papers also can handle more of wet style. You can clean them. It's easy. That's why I'm recommending these instead of regular paper. As you can see, I can clean the surface, I can continue to use it. It's easier to uh, clean the wall, no, it's easier to clean these papers. So if you have also oil style paint, like a glossy wall paint, I'm not against it. It's better to use with projector if you have flat surface. Best way to project white wall, but glossy white is probably more reflective, but you need to be perfectly making the straight surface. So I'm going to open the projector and continue in this journey. If you're looking for an extra gain like 1.1, 1.2, maybe 1.4, you might be thinking, hey, if I buy a glossy paper, that could make a difference. No, it does not. I am being straight with you in the fastest way. So I tried it, I thought about it like, hey, if I use a glossy paper, it would reflect more than a regular paper and that would reflect more than a white wall itself. Well, it, it's not. I hope for that, and it was just like, if it creates 1.2, 1.3 gain, it will be more contrast on it, and it will be easy to find, easy to restore, but it's not on the gain side, but there are some advantages. Let me just open the video again uh, from the projector, and no, cancel, and video will be continuing. I will close the light, and you will not see any difference as you can see right now, we have three different uh, parts, the wall, the matte paper, and the glossy paper around this area. We don't see nearly anything. I'm looking up close, I'm putting my face on it. All I can tell you, I can just see a little bit more clear pixels than a wall, but that might be just about the wall surface is not perfect. And also it's matte, matter than these papers. So, might be some sort of a loss of gain, but it's 1% or 2%, I can hardly tell. There's no scientific way out of it, so I will put the lights back. As you can see, video is playing. Who is this set up for? The paper could be a good option if you have small space, like a bedroom. Uh, you can put the papers, like 65, 75, 85 inch-ish size paper, roll them out, and stick it on a wardrobe with doors because any wardrobe with doors has some gaps even though they are purely white you can't reflect video because you'll see huge door lines door connection lines but this way you can just stick the paper on a wardrobe and you can play quite big screen with your portable or small projection like this this could be a bedroom style solution kids room solution you just put it on a wall reflect it and then take it out and get out that's kind of a portability of the paper and you can hide the papers for tens of years we have studio papers for backdrops and unlimited you know backdrops like seamless backdrops we have huge amount of papers three meters two meters and they will be like infinity style goes all the way and we are using them for more than five or ten years they are being around here we just clean them as much as possible. So if you buy cleanable, like uh, matte film style, stronger papers, you can use them for a longer time. But if you buy just regular paper, you want if you want to go cheap, you can also do that. You can use paper tapes 
to stick them on to a wall. If the paper is light, uh, definitely paper tape can handle it. But if you have like thick and uh, heavy papers, then you might be considering how you're going to apply it. And also paper costs are not too low. You might be considering my $25 cheapest ambient light rejection uh, screen, which is uh, basically a cloth, but it's uh, polymer based. It also prevents the ambient lights around you. So you can consider that video too. You might be thinking, why am I talking about paper? It's easy to stretch it, like you roll it out and you stick it. But the stretchy cloth is quite a different thing. You need surface, you need hangers, you need placements. So if you're not going to go too big like 100 inch, if you're going to be more like 75, 65 TV size with a portable projection, you can put the paper out, reflect and roll it back and get out. That's how fast it is on the paper side. But it's up to you, whatever you want to use it. But papers don't get too much of a game. Let me know what you think. And later on, hopefully I will test film style appliances they apply on the glass surfaces to create a back projection. Like if you put a film on a glass, you project it from the back and you create commercial space. That's also a commercial use of the projections. But those film, films might be usable at home on a wall. I'll try my best to purchase some of the samples and let you know what it can what can be done because films are a little thicker and you go with the tube and you open them up it's easy you don't have to stretch and you don't have to protect the screen they might be more reflective and also later on maybe i will try some plexi white plexi reflective plexi how they can reflect but plexi is not a cheap thing let me just tell you that if we buy ice white Glossy Plexi, it could act as a TV, reflective TV, and it could give us some, I tried uh, probably seven years ago uh, with Ultrashow Pro projections, just to show off my friend. We project from the back of the screen because it's too close, but it was like just like a TV. So, but the cost of the Plexis are quite high. I'm focusing on the budget sides in my videos. Let me know if you learn anything, if you have alternative ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Your support is important to the channel. This is my hobby channel. I don't get paid. So your support is the continuation of this channel. And I hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. You'll be seeing some of the videos like ambient light rejection, cheapest screen, why do I use uh, TV, why do I use projection, and why do I you choose to use projection as a TV and stuff like that all around my channel and hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Take Review. Bye.